All right, so we're back with uh, another segment in Churros and Puros. We're reviewing uh, the nub, Habano, and uh, well, it started off with some spiciness. Uh, it's it's it is a very spicy cigar, um, kind of a cedar spice, mm-hmm. uh, and kind of a, I don't know, it's kind of a sweet spice at some point. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I would say though, like as of right now, it seems to have kind of the, the spice isn't as strong as it was in the beginning. It's, it's there, and we are heading towards the you know the the powerhouse of the cigar. And look, th- I think I'm never ever gonna be able to get a freaking nub stand going. I was walking, had my great ash, and I freaking I was just walking here, walking with the cigar in my hand or whatever, and I bumped up against the freaking pole, blink, and it just shaved off whatever I was working on, man. Pretty sad. Ah, eh. I try to sound it on this. So hey, we're back with some Stuggy Chat news. Um, so Jubis, stuff's been going on on Stuggy Chat, right? A lot now, of bombings. A lot, a lot of bombings. bombings. You know what? I get the feeling that you know we're a bombing freaking forum and stuff. We never <laughs> stop bombing the heck out of each other. I think we even like freaking. It's been too quiet, so I'm gonna bomb like five people. <laughs> <laughs> boxes of PO, like freaking priority mailboxes all. All right. Um, so, one bomb. Jimmy, uh, Jimmy the mom ordered a couple boxes from uh, Robbie at Cordova Cigars, and uh, well, this guy's great because not only did he send him, uh, you know, his cigars in a in a great time, great service, he also sent him a freaking collector's the the yeah, yeah, collection, yeah. Uh, Lancero, the Lancero collection. Yeah, like two of the freaking. Sp- the blue okay. labels, the the, the, black the JJ, the Maduro, and that other one the, that's like has a C the, on it or something, the Centurion or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, it it's sick for for somebody just to send. I mean, it's you know, if you send like one or two stogies from a freaking you know, if a retailer sends you like two or three stogies, man, that's that's cool. You know, that that guy's great. But to send you a damn box, that's <laughs> that's freaking awesome, right? <laughs> that's a man. So way to go, there. Robbie, man! You're you're doing great. Uh, you're helping out everybody on the forum. Thank you for that. Uh, also, um, what is it? Okay, so Mario Maduro Pips, the Legend Killer, Goldberg, Madfer, whatever. <laughs> um, man, this guy. Dude, Mario, man, that's just like a freaking <laughs> drama, dude. So who's his partner, you know? Who's his freaking whatever? Oh, clues to come. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you tomorrow. And then, come on, man, you're listening <laughs> to freaking Spanish soap opera. Stop dragging the finale for three weeks. <laughs> and, so then, and then partner. it's still a two-parter? <laughs> <laughs> that's so true. Who's his partner? We don't know. I don't know. He's a scotch living guy. Scotch living guy? Uh pretty mm-hmm. much anyone on the damn board. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh okay, um so not a nice person also got hit by uh, by Oddsman. We gotta stop the heathen on heathen violence. <laughs> Lots of heathen on heathen <laughs> violence, alright? It's not cool. Not cool. But he hit him with cool nubs. <laughs> so, and I think that th- that's the theme uh, that's going around this week. Nubs. Nub hits because, uh, what is it, um, other people got hit by, uh, like, Ero- Erikos got hit by Fishhound with, like, two bundles of, uh, you know, oh, yeah, of yeah, nubs. Yeah, yeah. That was great, dude. That was a good hit. I you think know. each, all three of them were there, right? And yeah, all three yeah. of them, and then oh, just a great hit. So... Way to go, fish hound bombing, you know, another heathen, that's great. Or bombing a heathen, sorry. <laughs> I forgot, you're just a fisherman. <laughs> Fisher Price, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Turn that into a picture. Uh, another n- nub news, I think, on um, Stogie Chat. Uh, Mario did a nub stand. <laughs> on the top of the freaking thing, I guess he cut it, like, with a, with a V-cutter or something. He put a Joker card on top. That looked pretty sick, dude. Yeah, yeah, it did. Yeah. Pretty vicious. Very <laughs> vicious. On his part. And, uh, <clears throat> Nobody's done that one, all right? We're so giving him a claim on this show. <laughs> Very cool. Also, um, what is that? Uh, not nice person also got hit by, by freaking Banzai Toyota. 
<laughs> I just love saying that name. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's like saying Saki Lexus <laughs> or some shit. That day, think about the new members that are signing up. Uh, yeah, he got hit with the, like some freaking great cigars, but oh, a yeah. funny ass freaking pen, man. Uh, some sort of weird cat rabbit cross type of thing. <laughs> <laughs> The bombings here, man, we, I think we make up some stuff sometimes, you know? Yeah, Go to the nice sense store. Ha, you know what? They'll get a kick out of that. <laughs> <laughs> so that was cool. Uh, so there was a lot of hits this week. Um, then I, I would imagine what next week holds. <laughs> or the days, you know, leading up to, like, next week, I should say. Very, very big hits. And uh, next segment is uh, Featured Cigar. You have, you have a Featured Cigar? Featured Cigar. cigar. Cheapest, you want to mention it? No, you're the one to win. <laughs> Fuck, you never want to do any work. <laughs> all right, so, all right. Here in uh, Southern California, there's a couple places that roll their own cigars and sell them. One of them is called uh, Robert's Cigars. And uh, this is a, this is a, a Cuban guy uh, who, you know, Cuban-American guy. Who used to work in, in, in Havana, rolling cigars, and uh, now he rolls them in, in, you know, Southern California. And he has his own uh, cigar shop. <clears throat> he just sells his stuff. And, uh, you know, you go in there and you catch him rolling a cigar. So I started talking to the guy, and um, what is it? We had a pretty good damn, uh, we had a damn good conversation about cigars and stuff. And he was impressed on that. I asked him, oh, so, you know, que tipo de tabaco usa? Like, you know, what kind of tobacco do you use? And he told me, like, uh, it was Hunter and this, and then, uh, you know, Dominican Piloto, and, or something like that, and, and I was like, oh, it sounds like a good blend, and whatnot, and he just found it interesting that I would ask him what kind of tobacco, because a lot of people say, you know, like, oh, do you use Cuban tobacco, because he's Cuban, and it says, you know, Cuban style, and everybody trips out, but nonetheless, he was impressed by me, and he also, um, uh, he, I, I bought, I bought two cigars from him. And, uh, a size called the short story, and then another one, another total. Uh, I gave you the motherfucking total, which you got smoked. It's bomb. I did already. Oh, I yeah? was gonna talk about it right now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then uh, and then he gave me a lancero, so that was cool. And this guy was definitely cool. He get, he took a liking to me. He gave me uh, some a bunch of shredded tobacco. I'm I'm gonna hit him up. I'm gonna see <laughs> if he can teach me how to roll cigars. You know, that'd be pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Um. So yeah, I smoke. I smoked the the short story. It's like a short. Um, eh, it's a little bit bigger than the than the robusto, I think. But uh, this damn cigar was good. I had no that total. I had that total. How was it? Was a, you know, I will say that it's not, it, it was very very earthy. It seemed very earthy. Very it had a nice sweetness to it. And, mm-hmm. and not at not at all. At one point, I will say it wasn't strong at all. Mm-hmm. I didn't find 